So now let's look at some uh, more important chemistry terms. So a moiety is a part of a molecule that is given a name because it is identified as part of other molecules as well. And a substitu uh, substitution, yeah, a substitution is one or a group of atoms that replaces uh, one or more hydrogen atoms on the parent chain or the longest unbranched chain of a hydrocarbon, thereby becoming a moiety in the resultant new molecule. Yes, basically you have uh, it just replaces uh, yeah hydrogen atoms in a uh, yeah in, in a hydro a hydrocarbon or in the longest chain of a hydrocarbon. And the terms substitution and functional group, as well as side chain and pendant group, are used almost interchangeably to describe those branches from the parent structure. A functional group is a substitution or moiety in a uh, molecule. Yeah, this is just to be more specific, but these are almost used interchangeably uh, when they use substitution or functional side chain, etc. But more specifically, a functional group is a substitution or moiety. So it's it's either of them. Pretty much that is the same thing. In a uh, molecule that causes the molecule's characteristics, uh, characteristic chemical reaction. So it is a specific type of those that, that uh, yeah, that is the cause of whatever the molecules, uh, how their properties are. A chemical reaction. The same functional group will undergo the same or similar chemical reactions regardless of the rest of the molecule's composition. This enables uh, systematic prediction of chemical reactions and behavior of chemical compounds and the, the design of chemical synthesis or just uh, developing your own chemicals. A functional group is a group of uh, atoms in a molecule. Actually, I think this is it is already written in there. So we just erase this. So yes, that is already written there. So a side chain is a chemical uh, group or substitution yeah, that is attached to a core part of the molecule called the main chain or backbone. Yeah, so uh, this is, again, these are all very, very similar definitions, except this functional group has the uh, chemical reactions characteristics. And going uh, further, so the backbone chain of a polymer is the longest series of covalently bonded atoms that together create the continuous chain of the molecule. Um, and going further, so a pendant group, sometimes called uh, pendant or side group, is a group of atoms that attach to a, a, to a, backbone, of, a backbone chain of a long molecule, usually a polymer, and... And this has a name pendant, similar to like a, uh, yeah, so pendant is something suspended like a piece of jewelry. And the way it's set up is something that looks like this, where it looks like it's hanging across this. For example, the final group, the phenol groups, uh, C8, C6H5, are the pendant groups on a polystyrene chain. So notice how it's uh, connected to this long uh, hydrocarbon chain. And then you have these basically hanging uh, on each one of those like that. Going for this. So a hydroxy or hydroxyl group is a functional group with a chemical formula uh, uh, dash OH and, and composed of one oxygen atom covalently bonded to one hydrogen atom. So you're going to see a lot of this hydroxyl group or hydroxy. So an open chain compound or acyclic, uh, a, a, a cyclic compound, it has a Greek uh, prefix alpha there, without... Uh, yeah, for the word without, and this word right here for cycle, so without cycle, is a compound with a linear structure rather than a, a cyclic one. So basically saying a non-cyclic compound as opposed to this one, cyclic, and then yes, basically a straight uh, or a linear uh, setup. So here is a setup, so a branch chain like that, here's a straight chain, and these are acyclic, and then here's a cyclic, it forms a loop, and, and this is an open chain. Yes, yeah, so an open chain or a cyclic uh, uh, chain. Going further, so a saturated compound is a chemical compound or ion uh, that resists addition reactions, uh, which are, you know, addition reactions are two or more molecules, uh, molecules combined to form a larger one. So a saturated one, it wants to resist that. In, in other words, it's saturated with already uh, enough chemicals or, in, or enough uh, molecules. So overall, saturated compounds are less reactive than unsaturated compounds. And saturation is derived from the Latin word, uh, word sater, uh, meaning to fill. A saturated organic compound has only single bonds between carbon atoms. Yeah, so it looks something like this. So saturated compounds, you have ethane. So you have, notice each one of these is, uh, is linked with just a single bond there, as opposed to having multiple uh, covalent bonds and so on. And there's propane, everything's connected by one, so it's all saturated. doesn't want to add any more. Uh, but here, actually, uh, this is between carbon atoms. This one here is the oxygen is uh, not between the carbon atoms. 
So this is still, this is saturated fatty acid, but it's a double bond on the oxygen, not on the carbon. All the carbons are all uh, one, one bond. Now here's unsaturated. You have double bonds here. The carbon has two uh, covalent bonds, and this one has three covalent bonds on this. Uh, this is ethylene, and this is uh, acetylene, and this is uh, a linoleic uh, acid, and so on. And yes, yeah, so there's a double bonds across there. So because double bonds in this could actually want to react uh, to other stuff and form another bond over there, hence not saturated. Okay, going further, an, alka uh, an alkane is an acyclic saturated hydrocarbon. <laughs> That's hence why I wanted to go over the terms here. So just a lot of terminology. Uh, al alkanes have the general chemical formula CnH2n plus 2. An, alkane, an alkali or an alkyl, or actually it's pronounced uh, alkyl. I just uh, to uh, pause and check up the pronunci pronunciation. So uh, an alkyl is an alkane missing one hydrocarbon. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, an acetyl, or actually I think it's pronounced uh, acetyl, is a moiety and an uh, uh, acyl. Yeah, actually, I'll just erase this one here. That's just a bit uh, extra, extra definition of what it is. But uh, so this is uh, just more generally. So an, uh, yeah, basically, uh, an, an acetyl is a moiety with uh, chemical formula CH3CO. Uh, and uh, yeah, again, uh, where moiety is just a uh, part of a molecule that's also pres uh, also uh, present in other molecules. So where's a moiety right here? Moiety is part of a molecule that's given a name because it is identified as part of other mo molecules as well. Oh, I can keep going further. This is uh, a lot of chemistry right here. Yeah, so uh, another term that's common is the al al alkoxy group is an alkyl group that's singularly bonded to oxygen, thus R-O, where R is a gener generic placeholder, which may replace any portion of the formula as the author finds convenient. And uh, yeah, so it's basically connected to this minus O. Uh, yeah, then this dash O, so it's a singular, single bond uh, to oxygen. An ester is a chemical uh, compound derived from an acid, organic or inorganic, in which at least one, uh, yeah, one right here, dash OH or a hydroxyl group is replaced by an dash OH dash alkyl or uh, alkoxy group. Uh, yeah, so that's who replaces OH and then we'll, with this uh, O dash and this uh, R dash O right there. All right, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a lot of technical stuff here. And uh, it's just a lot of just, just definitions and uh, how to characterize or how to label. It's basically all labeling of different chemical compounds, uh, comparing it with others. So here's an example here. So a benzyl acetate, uh, C9H10O2, contains a, a benzyloxy, which is C6H5-CH2O moiety. Uh, it's moiety ens encircled with light orange. So this one's a moiety connected to this right here. Uh, and it also contains an ester functional group in red. So it's an ester functional group. Actually, no, that's this red right here is an ester functional group like that. And an acetyl uh, functional group in uh, encircled with dark green. Other divisions can be made. All right, and uh, let's just look at these a bit closer. So, so uh, this right here, the orange, that's a uh, ben benzy or benzyloxy or benzyloxy. Uh, this one is here. the The C's and the H are just all included. They're all, uh, and a lot of times they just ignore that in uh, chemical formulas because you have to repeat them constantly. But anyway, so this orange one is this uh, moiety. So just a it, it's given a name because it's it's inside other other molecules. That's light orange, and it also contains an ester. This is the red one right here. So remember, an ester is right here is a chemical compound derived from an acid in which at least one OH a hydroxyl group is replaced by O. Uh, then uh, O dash alkyl, which alkyl is just um, over here is an alkane missing one, uh, hi yeah, missing one uh, hydrogen over there, and then uh, an alkane, yes, yeah, so it's an alkane missing an hydrogen. An alkane is an acyclic or not non-circular, just linear saturated hydrocarbon right there, and that's just right here. So it replaces that OH, that hydroxyl, so it replaces this hydroxyl group with that uh, over there. Yeah, so it replaces this H uh, with this. Over here, this, this is just a straight line to the CH, and then that has an uh, O there. Yeah, so this is a a uh, a, a saturated, just one one carbon one. This one is doubled for the uh, oxygen over there, so that's the red. And then the let's see the other one, the dark green here. That's an uh, uh, acetyl uh, function functional group uh, encircled with dark green. And acetyl is over here. Is a moiety with chemical formula CH three CO. 
So this is a moiety in of itself like that. So yeah, it's very interesting. And you could do other divisions as well. Again, a lot of these labels are just how do you label this and then and then so you can compare it with other ones and so on. And let's keep going further. So pi bonds, or you could write it in the pi, the Greek, a Greek letter pi like that, uh, are covalent chemical bonds where two lobes of an orbital on one atom overlap two lobes of, of an orbital on another atom and the, and this overlap occurs laterally so yes and the, hence the two uh there's these two pi bonds or the, the hence why it's um called pi bond notice how there's a there's two lobes right there on the pi so let's just look how this so uh, electron atomic and molecular orbitals showing a pi bond at the bottom right just a pi bond at the bottom right so they're in, uh, they're overlapping and then remember these are just uh locations where uh the or the, or these are mathematical functions where the probability of an electron is at any specific point like that. So there's one s, there's two p. These are just different uh, labels of that, and these are different uh, lobes of uh, where the electrons can be. And then here's this pi bond right there, and where there's they're overlapping each other. Yeah, so hence the pi bond like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, keep going further. So resonance, also called uh, mesmerism, is a way of describing bonding in certain molecules or ions by the combination of several contributing structures or forms into a resonance hybrid. And uh, yeah, here's an illustration of that. So here's a contributing structure of the carbonate or car carbon carbonate ion CO3 uh, two minus. So you have this one right here. It could be like this, where you have this double bond on this oxygen, and and not, not on these ones. But then it can uh, keep switching up, or or it could be found in different uh, forms like that, where the uh, oxygen is over here. I mean, where the double bond is over here, and then the top one like that is the um, yeah, is the single bond, and so on. And, and hence it could uh, keep switching up on each one of these. So so you could do a hybrid like this. Or, or this is just to count all these. So these are a bunch of these are all different uh, types of the same uh, structure or, or, or the same ion, but different structures like that. So they're contributing structures. And this resonance can be summarized by a model with fractional bonds. Or in other words, dashed lines to represent that they keep switching up and delocalized charges. So in this one is a negative one charge, this is zero charge, and then you could uh, share them. So the net charge uh, or the average charge right here, if this is negative one, this is negative uh, one as well. So it's either negative one or zero, or but two chances of negative one. So you could do it as a, a two over three negative like that. So then yeah, delocalized charges are so two electrons shared between three oxygens, resulting in a net average charge of minus uh, two over three. So you could uh, write this resonance structure like this, where dashed line represents that it, it alternates from single and double bonds. And then this is the average, um, Average charge two over three uh, negative, and going further. So delocalized electrons, yeah, delocalized electrons are electrons in a molecule, ion, or solid metal that are not associated with a single atom or a covalent bond. So, for example, like here's the electron inside here, and then you can put the circle there because the electron keeps. Uh, it, it could be found in any one of these. It keeps circling around. And in this case here, benzene C, C6H6 with a delocalization of the electrons indicated by the circle. And the electron, yeah, because there's one on each one, but then they, they can keep switching up and they're not uh, tied to a specific uh, molecule ion, ion. I mean, not tied to a specific uh, uh, single atom or covalent bond. So it could be pretty much intermixed everywhere there. Uh, going further, so uh, aromat aromatosis. Yeah, or aromaticity, aromaticity is a property of cyclic or ring-shaped uh, and planar flat structures with pi bonds in resonance, uh, those containing delocalized electrons that give increased stability compared to other geometric or connective arrangements with the same set of atoms. Uh, ar aromatic uh, rings are very stable and do not break apart easily. Yeah, uh, organic compounds that are not aromatic are classified as uh, al uh, aliphatic uh, compounds. Yeah, they might be cyclic, uh, but only aromatic rings have enhanced stability. Yeah, so that's the key is enhanced stability, and this has that flat structure. Uh, it's cyclic, and it's uh, pi bonds and resonance uh, with delocalized electrons that can go about any any yeah can go about any atom over there. So it's not stuck to an atom. And so here, hydrocarbons are divided into two classes: aromatic compounds and uh, aliphatic compounds, from the Greek uh, aliphar, meaning fat or oil. All right, so uh, so here is a, a aromatic two different resonance of benzene top combined to produce an average structure at the bottom here. So here's a 
a resonance uh, like this. We have a double bond over here or a double bond here, but this, uh, these double bonds could be switching up uh, across there. So the, here's resonance structure, put that circle there, which is also delocalized electrons are. And then here's a acyclic alphabetic or a non-aromatic compound, butane C8, C4H10. And this one is over here. So notice this one's all single bonds, not in a circle, no delocalized electrons, and so on. Going further, and here's a cyclic one. So here's a cyclic uh, alphabetic or non-aromatic compound, uh, silobutane C2, uh, CH2, uh, uh, and then all, all, to the, all four times of it. And notice here it's cyclic, but they're not sharing electrons and they're not pi bonds and non resonance, etc. And so just, just a circular over there. Yeah, it's circular, but does not have the enhanced structure as something like this. All right, going further. So an alkene is a hydrocarbon containing a carbon carbon double bond. So a double bond is a covalent bond between two atoms involving four bonding electrons as opposed to two in a single bond. So yeah, as opposed to just double bond. Uh, yeah, so as opposed to a single bond of two electrons, this is a double bond with four electrons or two covalent bonds or a covalent bond involving four electrons. Uh, so an, alk uh, an alkaline yeah, or uh, alkanol uh, group is the fragment containing an open point of attachment on a carbon atom that would form if a hydrogen atom bonded yeah, to a doubly bonded carbon is removed from the molecule of an alkene. All right, so let's unpack that. So again, there's just a lot of just different labeling terms. So uh, first of all, an alkene is a hydrocarbon containing a carbon-carbon double bond. So like this one here, the alkene double bond right there, carbon-carbon. Uh, and so then this one is a fragment, uh, is a fragment containing an open point of attachment on a carbon atom that would form if a hydrogen bottom a uh, hydrogen atom bonded to a doubly bonded carbon is removed from the molecule of an alkene. So you have this H right here, uh, this H right here, and then it's removed. Now you have this open ended there. So again, uh, a lot of times uh, you would include, yeah, so for a lot of, a lot of times they would just uh, remove the H's here, just, 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 just draw a line and then you have to assume that all H's, but in this case you add the H's, but then you have an H here that's missing. So that's why you have this open ended over there. So now you have an uh, uh, alkanol group. And here's another example right here. So this one here is double bonded alkene. And then you have this H and you remove it, you get this one right here, which is an uh, alkanol group. And I'm going further. So an aryl or aryl yeah, or aryl is an is any functional group or substitution derived from an aromatic ring. So yeah, so now you get any arom aromatic ring. And if you derive one from it, you, it's called uh, just so basically any substitution that's used or functional group called that an aryl. Uh, that's derived from that aromatic ring. So a, a carboxyl acid is an organic acid that contains a carbo carboxylic or carboxyl group, which is uh, again C. This is a C, then with a double bond O, then OH, like that, attached to an R group or just an extra group. The general formula of a carboxyl acid is R dash COOH or R dash CO2. You could write it like that or this uh, H with R referring to the uh, alkyl, uh, alkyl, alkanol, aryl, or other group like that. So this could be attached to any one of those other ones. So the structure of a carboxylic acid is you have a C, double bond O, and then it's OH, I got. And this R is connected to any one of these other groups. And the term uh, deprotonize, yeah, de, yeah, so right here, deprotonize, deprotonation, or deprotonation, removing a, a proton of a carboxylic acid gives a carboxylate anion, which is R dash COO minus or R dash uh, CO2, and then minus or even write it like this, uh, dash, so that it assumes it's already connected to an R group, CO2 uh, dash, uh, CO2 minus. The negative charge that is left after deprotonation of the, carbo the carboxyl group is delocalized uh, between the two electronegative oxygen atoms in, in a resonance structure. And again, this is used a lot, this uh, carboxyl uh, anion, so that's why I'm going over it. So you have something like this, so you, it's delocalized. Yeah, this negative charge delocalized amongst these, uh, these right here, this oxygen over there, or here, double bond, and so on. It could switch up, so here's the resonance structure with that partial uh, bond right there. And uh, here's another method. They just put the negative here to, to indicate separate, but both. Or otherwise, you could put a half charge or whatever. So equivalence of the resonance form uh, of the resonance forms the the delocalized form. Actually, yeah, let's read that again. So equivalence of the resonance uh, of of the resonance forms 
or equivalent of the resonance, forms the delocalized form of a general carboxylate anion. <laughs> so a weird sentence. I think I copied it from Wikipedia. So anyways, yeah, so it forms this uh, delocalized uh, form like this, where the charge goes uh, either or. So a, uh, I mean, not, uh, yeah, yeah, either or that one. So a fatty acid is a carboxylate acid with an al alpha, uh, alphabetic or aliphatic chain, which is either saturated or unsaturated. And there's the term fatty acid. It can be used a lot.